Well, we all know that we should be eating right, right? But there are specific foods we can eat to help your heart stay healthy. Here's Dr. Coley with more. Dr. Coley, great to have you back. And I always love talking food with you too. So February is heart month. What's so important about that, first of all? Yeah, I love talking about February as well. So the American Heart Association tells us that 80% of heart attacks and strokes are preventable with the right lifestyle changes. Now, this is something we don't realize, and we sort of take it for granted that heart disease is the number one killer of men and women. But the whole idea of February is to turn that concept on its head. We don't have to accept that heart disease is the number one killer of men and women. We actually can change that by changing our lifestyle, changing what we eat, changing what we do, and preventing those heart attacks and strokes. Okay, well, I'm really happy you brought up what we eat. When it comes to a healthy heart, you know, what mealtime tips should we be considering when we're cooking for us and our families? Well, I think one of the most important things is portion control. So you don't want to be eating more than your body's basal metabolic needs and the amount that you're expending in exercise, because that's how we end up gaining weight. And we have to be especially careful with snacking there. We also want to make sure we have lots and lots of fruits and vegetables, because potassium, which is enriched in fruits and vegetables, is very healthy for our heart. Of course, the vitamins as well, such as vitamin D and others, are very important. We want to make sure that we're eating the right types of protein, so lean protein like chicken or fish. We don't want to be eating a lot of red meat. Limit that to less than two servings a week and limit our egg yolks to less than two a week. And then we want to make sure that we have, you know, really good representation as well of a well-balanced meal so that every meal is slightly different and we're getting a good array of different types of, of vitamins and nutrients. Excellent. Okay, good, good. And these are all things, like you said, that we can really incorporate well into our daily lives and what we eat. Let's talk about how we can monitor our heart health. This is something that, you know, I, I don't really think of as much as I feel like I should. So how can people monitor their heart so they know where they stand and we kind of know where we should be cutting back? You know, it's so important for us to monitor our heart health because it's not something that's going to really tap you on the shoulder and declare itself until it's almost too late. So one of the first things that I like to do is to just get a snapshot of my health by checking my blood pressure, checking my cholesterol, checking my hemoglobin A1C. And those are simple blood tests that you can get from, uh, you know, low cost screening, like the type that Nine Health 365 offers. And that gives us a really good sense of where we are at today in terms of our risk factors. Now, if you want to take it to the next step, if you're 40 or above, you may also want to talk to your doctor about a test called a calcium score, which is just a simple x-ray of the heart. But what it tells you is that whether you already have heart disease, whether you already may have some blockages that have developed. And if that is the case, then that can certainly help you to, again, ramp up how much you're, you're changing those risk factors to minimize your risk. Okay, excellent. Well, these are all really important things that we need to keep in mind and ways that we can really prevent having issues in the future too. So Dr. Coley, you're our favorite cardiologist. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, Danny. And health screenings are available from Nine Health 365 at upcoming Nine Health fairs or at a local Quest Diagnostic Center. Learn more at ninehealth365.org.